This is good for racing because at the heart and core of racing are race horses. And racing has to think about and does think about what happens after these horses are done racing. And we've done that, but this weekend is about making that happen more often and making it happen in a way that is feasible, practical, plausible and realistic for the horses involved because not all horses are meant to win the Kentucky Derby. Not all horses are meant to run past the point of being three or even four, but these horses more often than not live to be 20 or 25, 30 years old. And so they do need to find something else to do. They do need to find a second career, a reason. They need a job, just like we need a job, they need a job. And so this weekend is really about how we can take them from being the stars or not on the track that they are and give them a second chance to be a star in a second career. My first race horse was a horse that I bought, my husband and I bought by ourselves and we formed a racing partnership called Sisu Racing Stables. And we did it on our own with one horse. We trained out of Fair Hill. Her name is Ave Ravina. She raced for two years, never really liked it though. She won a little bit of money, but she certainly never regained the purchase price we paid for her. Um, it, it became obvious in, early into her fourth year that she wasn't happy, and so I decided to take her off the track and figure out what her second chapter would be. So I've actually done this myself. She stayed out in the past year for about a year, just becoming a horse again. And then we sent her down to Dodon Farms to begin her training as an eventing horse. And she's since blossomed. She won her first show at the Marlboro Horse Trials about two weeks ago. She'll go out again next weekend at, at Horse Trials um, in Eastern Maryland. And we're so thrilled that she has found her place. She's never been happier in her life. With regard to Bourbon Lane, we are a partnership and we buy three two-year-olds and three three-year-olds a year and we are a group of partners and friends we travel around we support these horses we have a great time with them we're thrilled to be racing today in the bourbon stakes um, with a two-year-old named tiger bourbon but i think i'm also very proud that what we also do is when our guys are done racing we find a place for them to go that's appropriate just recently we had a horse named johannes bourbon come off the track and he is about to become the newest resident of Old Friends Rescue in Kentucky. So he's gone to Old Friends. And so another horse is um, in Arizona at Tierra Madre. So we've, we've been able to do that ourselves as a small partnership. And I do believe that it is a responsibility of every racehorse owner to not just think about what their life is on the track, but to plan for, anticipate, and make it happen that the lives off the track are equally viable and happy. There's a market for these horses and we've proved it with this weekend. If you looked, look at the horses who came here um, from South Dakota, for example, uh, Dale Clinton was telling me the story of how he, one of his horses he purchased off the track, it was a $1,700 purchase and he recently sold him for much, much more and that's because the horse was retrained. We've seen horses who come off the track, their value is pretty much the last claiming race they run and so they could have been purchased for fifty, a hundred, two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, but their value is the value of that last claiming race. That could be five thousand, that could be two thousand. It doesn't matter what you paid for them, it matters where they end up in, in terms of value. But if you take that that horse and you spend what these trainers have as little as three months, sometimes eight weeks, guess what? That horse's value increases and that trainer can go ahead and sell that horse into a new owner who can go on and have a wonderful opportunity to have a great life with that horse.